Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Trimax Yellow Motorcycle Disc Brake Lock. This disc brake lock is going to help prevent rollaway theft of your motorcycle. The lock attaches to your motorcycle's brake rotor with a bright orange cord and the other end of that uh, cord is going to attach to your handlebars to remind you to remove the lock before riding. Now this push button lock is easy to use. This, uh, as you can see, includes this uh, flip top that is going to prevent moisture and dirt and other things that could obstruct the keyhole from entering in there. So that's a nice touch to this lock and it will just kind of secure into place when you close that lid. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the keys here and open this up. So you just insert the key, turn it, and that lock pops right up. As you can see, then I'm going to turn the key back and you don't need the key inserted into the keyhole for this to lock. And so you would just take, as I mentioned, one of these loops of the cord and run your lock uh, through that loop. And then you would just attach this to the uh, disc um, brake, uh, the disc rotor uh, of your motorcycle. And once you have that lined up uh, the way that you need it and you're ready to lock this, you would just push this lock down. And before I push it down all the way, I just want to give you a view of that pin in there. The gap in between here measures about a quarter of an inch. And so that uh, pin diameter is 3 sixteenths of an inch. This is a short throat. And so when you're ready to lock it, you just push it down all the way and you might have heard that click. It's going to lock into place and then you're, you're going to take this other end of this cord and uh, put this loop uh, around one of your handlebars. And I'm really glad something like this is included because I could easily forget that I have this attached to my uh, disc brake rotor. So I'm glad that this is included. Pretty good length on here and it's coiled so it's, easy, it's going to be very easy to um, it'll snap right back into place so you're not going to have a, a, a long excess to worry about when you're done using that cord. So again I'm going to insert this key, give it a turn, it pops that lock open, turn the key back, remove it, and then remove our cord as well. And then push that back down and close that lid. Now this, is, this lock is constructed of hardened steel and so this lock is going to resist cutting, sawing, chisel attacks and the anti-drill lock core is going to prevent theft and tampering. Let me go ahead and retrieve my ruler here, give you some overall measurements to help you determine if this is going to work for your uh, application. The overall length, we are sitting pretty close to about two and a half inches at the longest point. The overall width, we are sitting right at about in one and one eighth inches. And then the overall height, and this is the tallest point here, we are sitting right at about two and a quarter inches, it looks like on the overall height. And again, you can see that this is uh, going to be yellow in color. It's a very easily visible color. And it also includes this carrying case, which is nice because if you're going to store this in a compartment in your bike, this case is going to prevent this lock from rattling around in that compartment. It has a hook and loop fastener, so it's going to keep it secure in there. Also a strap that you can use to um, maybe secure this around your bike or on a bag or something like that. So it's pretty flexible in that way. And this pouch is made out of a kind of a nylon material. So it's going to be resistant to moisture. I mentioned that uh, three keys were included. So that's nice. And one of these keys is actually a mini LED flashlight. So you're going to be able to easily find this lock and find the keyhole in low light or dark conditions. So you could, for instance, use the 
mini flashlight key as your main key, and then you got these other two as backup keys. So um, that, that is really nice. It includes three keys, so you're not going to have to worry about easily losing uh, one or two keys. You're going to have some backup keys there uh, to help you out. Now, um, I, my overall impressions of this is that uh, the slock is it is very uh, well built and it feels heavy duty. It's rather robust and it's, it doesn't feel like it is inexpensive or cheaply made, not, not a whole lot of rattling in there. So if this meets the specs that you are looking for, I think this is going to be a great option for you to consider. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.